Hi everyone, so I wanted to come here today and do a Sassy Girl Aroma Haul. Um, I've been using Fender Wax, and especially her wax, since 2018. She's a great vendor. I consistently have great throw from her. Um, there's probably only been one scent of hers that I actually haven't liked. And yeah, I bought lots from her. So um, the first thing we have here is Fall Fun Carnival. I've actually already cut into this. Uh, she's doing another pre-order and I really wanted to decide if I wanted to order this in a low. And this one, let me tell you, is just amazing. So this one, the scent descriptions are sugar cookie, kettle corn, and vanilla bean noel. And it's just one of those kind of perfect fall scents that's different than the pumpkin and everything else that's out there. Um, definitely gives you that carnival type vibes. Um, so the Fall Fun Carnival came like this one in one of her little mini bunts or muffins, whatever she's calling them. Um, so this one is Return to Oz, which is pumpkin, pecan waffles, salted caramel, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and zucchini bread. This one is amazing. Um, I actually have it going in my house, an older breakaway bar that I have of hers. And you just, you really get that pumpkin pecan waffles combined with that zucchini bread and the hint of blackberry jam and it's just delicious. Another one of her mini pies is Easter Parade, which is ruby red grapefruit, sugar orange citrus, and whipped cream. Here's that one. Smell good. And these are just so cute in these little buns. Um, this one has a fun little cow print and all the different chunks that are in it. So this one, you really get that ruby red grapefruit um, with a little bit of creaminess. This reminds me of my grandma because her favorite soda was the ruby red from Squirks and she always had to drink one of those. And then the last scent that I have is Candy Cane Cocoa, which is hot chocolate, whipped cream, and candy cane. And this one you really do, you get that hot chocolate with that candy cane smell. It's just so good. Here's the little chunks that she has in that one. And then I got four of her breakaway bars. So this first one, I stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit and I'm so glad I did. It's called Coal Miners. So it's blackberry, sponge sugar, palo santo, and sweet pine. Here's that one. And this one, um, it's just, this is amazing. You just really get that pine with the palo santo in there and that little bit of blackberry. It's just, if you like pine scents or if you like Palo Santo, I highly, highly, highly suggest this one. So again, coal miners. And again, her wax is just beautiful. Let me, let me take this one out. I know other people show how beautiful her wax is, but I mean, look at these bars. Look at those colors. I don't know if any of you have ever been into scrapbooking or making cards, but these just remind me so much of those beautiful watercolors that I used to work with when I was doing that. Okay, the next breakaway bar is Reindeer Delight, which is balsam for vanilla pound cake, candy cane, and marshmallow. Uh, I really, really like peppermint and pine type scents, especially this time of year. Um, and this one again, they're just, this one's a really good one. Um, it's not quite as strong on the pine, as strong on the like tree scents as this one is. This one definitely is much more strong on those. Um, the balsam fir and the candy cane are a little bit more mellow in this one. And I'm guessing that's probably from the vanilla pound cake, kind of just mellowing it all out. So if you want something but wanted a little bit more mellow, I would suggest this one. And then we have Smurfs in the Kitchen, which is her in the kitchen blend combined with blueberry. blueberry. So her in the kitchen is 
marshmallow cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla fudge butter. And so she does all different blends with those. These, this is just, this is one of the good blueberries. I don't like the candy blueberries and this doesn't really give that vibe. This gives more of an actual, not quite juicy blueberry, but more of a, maybe the bakery blueberry type scent. Um, I just really don't like the candied blueberry type scents. And this one, this is a good one. Then the last breakaway bar that I have is Unskinny Bop, which is toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, sugar cookies, marshmallow, cotton candy, and Twinkies. Which I think this one is part of her Beach Nights, which her Beach Nights is amazing. If you like Beach Nights and you haven't tried hers, you need to try hers. Yeah, this is definitely part of her Beach Nights. And this is just, oh, I just, I can't even describe her scents. They're just all, they're all so good. She does bakery very, very well, which I absolutely love bakery scents. And then I got two loaves. So my first loaf is in fantasy land, which is Hello Lover, Fruit Loops, Orange Sherbert, Vanilla Bean Noel. I'm not sure what Hello Lover is, but I think it's some kind of a lemon type scent. And her loaves, I mean, they're just so beautiful with all these chunks in them and all the different colors. And they're, they're heavy. I mean, they're pretty, pretty solid loaves. It says that they are 17 ounces. So here's the loaf. And this is just such a good fruity smell. And I, I really do think that Hello Lover has some kind of a lemon in it, but then you get those Fruit Loops with a little bit of orange. And this one I'm really excited for, for next spring and summer, but then also just when my nose needs a little bit of a break from all of those heavy bakery pumpkin type scents to kind of fix my nose blindness because I tend to go nose blind if I am burning the same or melting the same scent all the time, which I do this time of year because we all do pumpkin. Speaking of pumpkin, we have pumpkin pie in the kitchen. So again, it's her in the kitchen blend with pumpkin pie. So pumpkin pie, marshmallow cookies, butter cake, Twinkies, and vanilla fudge butter. This one got a little melted, but I think that happened here at my house. This has kind of been sitting in a box for a couple days waiting for me to do this. Oh, this one is so good. You get that pumpkin pie with a little bit of spice. And it's not like a heavy spice, it's just a slight spice and it's combined with that bakery of in the kitchen. This is just a beautiful scent. Makes me want to go to Costco and buy a pumpkin pie which I'm trying not to eat. Um, I have several different wax hauls that I'm going to be doing because I recently have been working on losing weight. And so I've turned my food obsession more to my wax obsession. So you will see all the crazy amounts of wax that I've been buying. Um, and Julie, the owner, she does send out samples. Here's her little card that she's including right now which kind of has some different suggestions on how to take care of your wax. So the two samples that I got this time was Summer Blossom, which I'm not really sure what this is. Um, it kind of has a floral type note to me. It's not super strong. I don't know, it smells good, I'm excited to try it. And then Cran Pear Bellini. And this one, you really get that cranberry. It's almost like a, maybe kind of a fizzy note. Is Bellini maybe a type of a drink? I don't know, but this one smells really good. I'm excited to try this one as well. So for those of you that have tried Sassy Girl Aroma, what are your favorite scents? And for those of you that haven't, what are you waiting for? Um, she has a pre-order open right now, like I said. Um, and one that I am definitely picking up is this one in a loaf combined with some other ones that I want to try and I'm excited. So I'll see you later.